What's up, I'm David E. Talbot. I am the director and writer of Jingle Jangle, but most importantly, I am Lynn's husband. That is the most important title that I have. Hi, I'm Lynn Talbert, and I'm the producer of Jingle Jangle. Jingle Jangle's for everybody, really. It's, um, you know, I grew up watching movies that uh, uh, moved me and uh, because of the music, because of the heart, because of the emotion, um, because of the themes, they were all universal and you know that's what we put in this movie. It, it's music is the universal language and um, and what's what makes you feel good is something universal, a smile and and, uh, and laughter and, and we put all those things in this movie so it's for everyone who just wants to feel good, who likes good music and um, and it's for me as a father, um, you know, this, this, this movie was sitting in, the, um, in my hard drive for a while. And then um, when we had our son, I remember sitting down and watching with him uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, which is one of my favorite movies growing up. And uh, I was just sitting there watching him. I said, son, this is daddy's favorite movie. You're gonna, you're gonna love this, you're gonna you know, watch it. And, and he watched it for a few minutes and he got up and started playing with his Legos. And I said, and it hit me that, well, that was for my generation and I wanted something that was for his generation, something new, something fresh, something that had people that looked like him, um, that looked like me. And that was still just as universal as Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was for me. And nobody in there looked like me, <laughs> but, but it, it touched me. And so this movie is, 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 is something that will touch everybody, every race, every color, every nationality, everybody who wants to feel something, everyone who wants to be connected with their family. Um, and I, I hope this can sit up in the, um, on the shelf along the sides of classics that I grew up in, the Willy Wonka and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Mary Poppins of the world. That is, that is, our, that is our hope. This whole idea of wonder and what moves us all, what moves children or moves the child in us all as adults, that's what we're tapping into with this movie, this whole theme of, of believing again and, 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 and having hope and, and families being um, uh, reconciled and relationships being brought back together. These are all themes that everybody can tap into. Um, and. And that's what makes this, this, this film so magical. Originally it was set to be a musical on the stage and that's the world we came from. So that was kind of how Jingle Jangle came about. I was like, we want to do this big, you know, stage production, Jingle Jangle Christmas, you know. And our uh, manager, Dave McLevain, when he was telling him the idea, he was like, I think it's a movie. And we were like, you're right. And meeting Nick Nesbitt at Netflix, for him to say to us, you know, go beyond your imagination. You know, don't think budget. Just think beyond your imagination. Everything you could ever dream, what would you want to see in this film? And from that, it just opened up that world of wonder and wishes. All those things that we love, we just wanted to do something that really encompassed all of that and something for our son's generation, but something that also is for us because we all love those productions, we all love those films and movies, and uh, it just made it so, how can we create the themes that we wanna see and make it musical and fun and magical and wondrous and put in belief, you know? Cause even us, we're sitting there believing that this could happen and then it actually does. You know, it was really a dream and we didn't know how we were gonna make it happen or when we were gonna ha make it happen. But we knew that one day we would get the chance and you know, we did, we did. It's, it's truly surreal. I wanted this movie to not only touch um, children but adults as well as it does and I, I um, the things that move me about this story is that it is something for all ages. It's uh, 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 grandparents can sit with their grandchildren and mothers can sit with 
there and fathers can sit with their sons and daughters. It's something that brings everyone together uh, to sit in the television and watch something for it, you know, and it's not something, well, kids, you go off to sleep, you know, you know this ain't for you. We're going to watch this after the kids go to sleep. And it's not the, something that is just for the kids either. Something that everybody can sit and watch and there's something for everyone. There's, there's, there's music that um, will remind you of some of the classic songs that you grew up uh, uh, humming along, and, but it has a soulful um, feel to it. So it's music like, that may sound familiar, but you've never heard this level of music. And the people that are behind it, John Legend, who's writing, and Philip Lawrence, eight-time Grammy winner of uh, Bruno Mars fame. And, and so we put choreography in this. So we're in this big old town square, and we've got 50, 60 people open up the, the movie with a, a, a big number. So it's, it's got the spectacle, it's got the soul, it's got costumes, it's a period piece, it's got the heart, it's, it's, um, it's, it's something that I am most proud of in the 30 years that I've been writing and directing theater and film. It's something I'm most proud of. It's something that is a piece of, of me as a child, and it's something that is a piece of me as a father. I probably get the most emotional sometimes because it's a legacy thing for my son, for our son, and um, hopefully uh, he will be talking about this experience to his children and grandchildren like I talk about the movies that I watched growing up. So if we can do that, then we will have uh, succeeded. Journey, I feel like, is very much a piece of me and every little girl out there who might have been told, you know, um, this isn't for you, or you shouldn't do this kind of job, or, you know, this is only for boys, or only boys do that. And uh, it was really important for me, not only for my son, he is surrounded by a lot of very strong women and he appreciates that. And then also for other little girls to feel comfortable in their skin and to feel like they can do anything that their counterparts can do. And women, you know, this touches me now. I still watch the song and I was a part of seeing it written and I was a part of, you know, bringing it to life. But every time I hear it, I still get emotional because it reminds me of the little girl inside of me and reminds me of all the things that I can still do and continue to try to do and make it easier for the young women coming up behind me. Madeline Mills does an amazing job of just... She's a rock star. Yeah, she is. Yeah. And she connects with the role so well. And her mom said to me, you don't understand what this is doing for her because she never fit in even in this world of entertainment and, and um, trying to find her way and really find who she is as a 10 year old girl, she said she's growing so much and feeling confident and seeing what we're doing and seeing what all the rest of the cast is doing, it's helping her be a better, a better person. So um, these characters, in each of them in their own way, touch on uh, things that all of us are dealing with in our everyday life, you know, not just a fantasy world or, you know, um, an imaginary world, but everyday life, real life. And it's making us have that feeling of belief again and love again, which is also a universal theme and forgiveness and hope. And so th I think those are things that are most important and certainly what we need right now in the world to remind people of what it is to be loved and to forgive and to help someone through tough times.